The Evansville Wartime Museum was honored today by the city with the mayor declaring August 10th as Evansville Wartime Day. The museum invited the community to celebrate its grand reopening while also honoring Vietnam veterans. Eyewitness News' Emily Blackmar has more. The Evansville Wartime Museum is celebrating being back open by hosting a community day, bringing in artists, honoring those who fought in the Vietnam War, and brought in the Columbus, Indiana Huey team, who is offering helicopter rides, as you can see behind me. Museum officials are happy to be fully open again after fixing storm damage from earlier this year. Evansville Mayor Stephanie Terry stopped by to show support and proclaim August 10th as Evansville Wartime Museum Day. It's exciting to be here to see the improvement that have been made um, and, and just really the, the, the value of preserving Evansville history. And so I'm glad to be a part of it and to proclaim today Evansville Wartime Day. Museum officials say this proclamation was a surprise and are grateful that the preservation of history is being appreciated by the community. It just thrills us to death that we can be of service to, to the city by honoring our history by talking about what happened here in the city in World War II what the veterans have done. The museum offered activities for all ages, bringing in artists, exhibits, and giving those interested a glimpse into what a ride in a Huey helicopter from the 70s is like. When you say Huey, they tend to know what it is. Obviously, the veterans do. And it just you can hear it now in the background, that sound, and just what it means to our troops and to America. It, 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 it speaks for itself. We like to give people the opportunity to be able to ride in one because uh, they have family members and, and family members of family members that there's some relationship to this aircraft probably. And we like to show it off in that manner. The day was filled with fun but offered an educational aspect of remembering those who serve our country, including a $500 donation to the museum in honor of Marines across the country. More specifically, one who was honored in Evansville today. The Marine we honored today served two tours in Vietnam. He was wounded three times, so he had three Purple Hearts. Um, he let his family know that he wanted us there, so when they called us, there was no question we were there. Reporting in Evansville, Emily Blackmore, Eyewitness News.